it's January 30th. And I'm going to give you guys a tour of a few of my square bodies. I have seven trucks missing. No, six trucks missing from this video. I have an 88, I'm sorry, an 88 V30 cabin chassis missing. An 87 V10 missing. An 87 V10 Silverado missing. An 86 K10 Silverado missing. Short wheelbase. I have a 78 K10 missing. And then a 83 K10 missing. And a 85 CUCV Blazer, CUCV Blazer missing. And two of these trucks are mine. The red one and the cock truck over there, CUCV. So, let's get started. Let's get started with the old Harlequin truck. Fucking door. Alright. I made this video three times today. Now this is the Harlequin truck. This is the definition of getting saved from the scrapyard. It's an 87 V10 Custom Deluxe four-wheel drive short bed. It originally had a 4.3 where they standard in it. When I got it, it had a 3.55 and an automatic in it. It's still fuel injected. Um, I saved this truck from the scrapyard. We're not going to get too much into detail with the story of saving it, but it used to be a Massachusetts uh, town of wear Massachusetts plow truck, and it took a hell of a beating. The frame's good. It's just got a bunch of patches in the front because I used to run an eight foot plow on it. It's, uh, currently it's got a 350 in it, stock, TBI, with a four speed with 456 gears in it. And it'll boil those 35s off of it, no problem. All right, next. This is a 88 Chevy Silverado V30 Wrecker, 159 inch wheelbase. I bought this truck out of Peterborough, New Hampshire. It's a Silverado. It's got maroon interior. It has a perfect dash pad, which is very, very rare for one of these trucks. Power window, power lock. Used to have some sort of weird, I don't know, Myers plow? No idea what the hell that is in the front of it. Uh, I bought this truck last fall. Um, to windows, which I don't like. Um, I pretty much have everything to put it together. I bought brand new rockers, brand new clutch flywheel. Needs a flywheel because somebody put the wrong starter in it and sheared the uh, sheared some of the teeth off. Needs a floorboard on that side, but the cab's better than most. It's a pain in the ass in the state of Maine to get an assigned VIN number on a 30 series truck. Basically, what they do is they uh, they make you require every part and piece that you put into it, and they tax you for like a brand new vehicle. So I've cut you know pieces out of the of shit cabs that I had to fix this thing, and it's. It's really not that bad. How you see is how I got it. I put a visor on it and ripped the uh, old seat out, which is in the back of the, v the V10 the over there, the Hylophon truck. So, it's got a pile of leaf springs with three overloads on top. It's got a um, Challenger uh, 4800 series body on it. I have the doors for that side. Um, yeah, power under power lock truck. Pretty cool. Not something you see in a cabin chassis, really. And it's got the best of both worlds. Big block four speed. How can you go wrong? That is the creature. All right, let's keep this video rolling. This is my first truck. This truck kind of uh, has a long story behind it, but I'm not gonna get into that today. I bought this truck, it was all, you know, two-tone. Um, this was my first square body that I bought. That's what created all this. Um, it's uh, 1987, I mean 1985 Chevy Silverado. Um, blue with a blue interior. It used to be this color. This is Code 98 Ocean Blue, I believe. Um, that's what the guy told me. I actually talked to the original owner that built this and bought it in 2002. It came up here and it was traded in in Rochester, New Hampshire with a blown motor in O2 and it was rust free. Well, now the cab looks like a shark bit it off, bit the underneath of it off. 
we'll get into that story another day. So Alvarado, 373 gears, has a locker in the rear, of Richmond locker. I'm sorry, Auburn locker. Um, four inch ranch arrow left, uh, block in the back, spring front, obviously. Quad shock, kind of a neat truck. I bought this truck my sophomore year. I uh, got ripped off on it. Guy told me it had all the bells and whistles, had a 355 in it, bada bada bada. Well, the motor was roaching it, had a friggin' late night, uh, early 90s motor in it, TBI motor, and it was all friggin' junk. And it's got a flat tire on it, so what? Alright, this isn't my truck. This is also, was originally dark blue with a blue interior, crank window, Silverado. And, uh, yeah. It's got a southern bed on it with a Missouri nose on it. Those are aftermarket doors. I have nice GM, do GM doors for it. So, yeah. So what you see is I bought that because I got ripped off on it. I couldn't find parts for it in 2011. People kept fucking me over. So I started collecting, as you can see, with hopes to get good parts for that. And I've done that and then some, as you can tell. All right, this truck right here belongs to one of my best friends. It is hiding here for a divorce right now. Uh, if you can't find it, you know, that's one of those deals. Um... It's an 87 R10 Scottsdale power into power lock truck, black interior with red paint, obviously. It was originally apple red. Now this is Porsche red. He had it redone in, I think he said 2000-ish. Had fenders and doors put on it. They're aftermarket. They fit okay. Um, rockers, cab corners. It's a very nice truck. It's, you know, his grandfather bought it brand new in 1987. I'm sorry, he bought it in 1988. It was a leftover. I think that's how the story went. Uh, it's got a 5.6 drop in it, I believe. I'm not really sure. Um, these are kind of neat. It has the Qualitex bucket bench seat thing in it. I used to run those in that truck over there, the Hylicon truck. I'm a fat guy, so it's a pain in the ass for me to fit with the wheel, and that truck doesn't have a tow wheel in it. So, yeah. Pretty cool truck. It's been here for, well, it's been here since last fall, so hopefully it'll leave at some point. All right, this truck. Now, when I say the originals, that's an original, that's an original. The black lifted truck down there we'll get into. And... Yeah, there's really no more. Oh, and the Hawken truck. Those, when I say the originals, these are the trucks that I mean... Uh, that I started out with when I started buying these things. I bought this truck in uh, 2014, no, 15. Uh, I bought it from the original owner's son. The guy died. Um, he bought it brand new at Dick Pool and Chevrolet. Uh, 305, uh, 700 F4, 308 gear truck, which is typical for a half ton in the 80s. Um, now it has a 350. They put it in. They redid it in like 2004, I think they said. Uh, he died in 2010, I believe. Uh, stopped driving it, sat for a long time. Bed was falling off. Put a 84 GMC bed on it that I had from another parts truck. And I redid the whole back of the frame. The only thing I need for this truck is I need to save my pennies and buy all the sheet metal to fix the floor. Other than that, it's really not that bad. That 350 that was in it ran really good. Um, stock, Fisher Plow. It's apple red with... Code 90 Doskin Tan paint. All right, next. This isn't mine. I know it's a 1008 Plain Jane military truck, 456 gear. Used to have a 62 diesel on it. Now there's no motor. Um, there's a tranny in it. Has a Fisher head gear. Um, I really can't tell you much more. It's just hiding here. It's just here because he doesn't have room to put it at his house. All right. This is one of the originals. I bought this truck in September of 2014. Uh, this is kind of a interesting story. I was working at a place in Newington, New Hampshire called T Subcom at the time. It used to be called Tyco if you're in the New England area or if you know anything about cable systems, I was spinning cable. Um, I wanted a three quarter ton truck and I never owned one. I was only, well, 25 now, so I think I was 
18 at the time when I saw this. Yeah, 18 roughly. Maybe eight, yeah, 18. So seven years ago, I bought this truck roughly. Um, bought it, met the original, second to the original owner. She bought it in 1989. It's an 87. Um, I put four wheels and tires on it, got it running, put a visor on it. This is my first vehicle that I ever had a payment on. Uh, it's a V20, as I said before, 350 TBI, uh, 342 gear. This is not a heavy spec three quarter ton. I only have one other three quarter ton that's sitting right over there, plus my Suburban. Uh, this has 52 inch rear leaf springs in it, like a half ton. 700 R4, shitty gears, um, but I love this thing. It's uh, code 55 Copper Canyon, uh, brown, well, copper color that's what the color is and then it's midnight black on the bottom um po uh, not power no power lock it's crank window uh so, you know silverado interior very special to me this one gets the jace plate i bought this truck uh i was getting tight i wasn't living at my house at the time uh, me and my girlfriend needed money i sold it for rent money we broke up a year later i found the truck and i bought it back so i drove all the way to scout he get it all right, this is a truck that I've spent the most money on. I bought this truck. This truck came from New York. I bought it, and I have the New York title for this truck. I actually have the title for this truck, this truck, and that truck, and that truck. Now, finding a title for an old square body in New England, I mean, in Maine and New Hampshire, it's kind of rare, but it's kind of cool just to have the old paperwork. You don't need to submit them when you register them. Uh, the state of Maine and New Hampshire is not a title state, so... I bought this truck right here. This is an 82 K30 Custom Deluxe um, K30. It's not a military truck. People have asked me, oh, is it converted from one of them to them? No. I didn't want a military truck. Um, this truck, this truck, this truck. These are all single rear wheel one tons. Um, I drove down, bought this truck. The kid was like, yeah, I got to sell it. Um, my girlfriend's pregnant. I need the money. I'm like, okay, no big deal. I gave him an ass ton of money for it. I didn't get ripped off in my opinion. It's got a beautiful frame, really, really decent cab for a New England truck. Um, you know, I'd take a sticker as it sits, a little bit of work, but uh, the day before my birthday, I lost that gasket on it. It's an 82 K30 uh, Custom Deluxe, 6.2 diesel, um, black interior. It's got a gray dash pad and gray seat, but whatever. Um, everything works, you know, everything works. I have a perfect chrome front bumper for it to get rid of the rusty one. It's real K30, it's got the K30 cab, stainless 60, all the bullshit. So, without further ado, let's move to the next one. Alright, this truck. I saw this truck on Facebook Marketplace last fall. May was doing my, I'm laid off right now, so that's why I get spare time to make a YouTube video. Um, doing really good in excavation with my boss. Made a shit ton of money. I saw this truck on Marketplace. Kept seeing it, kept seeing it, kept seeing it. I'm like, okay, let's look at it. This was my second K30 I ever bought. Um, 85, 350, turbo 400, uh, 410 gear. Just like that truck. It's the same. All these trucks are the same. All three of these one tons. But we'll get into that in a minute. 350, 62, same thing. Uh, this one's dual tank, maroon interior. It was originally black. Um, the cab on it's wicked rough, but it's savable. Um, I bought this truck out of Massachusetts. Um, drove down there with me and my buddies, went and got it. Put a trailer line in it, runs, drive, stops. I can't complain. Good plow truck. All right, we'll put a couple seconds into this, a couple minutes into this story. I always wanted a single rear wheel K30 uh, series truck. I could never find one. I own an 86 brown GMC Sierra Classic 3500. It was the most rusted out piece of shit. It was a uh, code 66 brown, uh, Indian brown truck. I think that's what the color is. Indian, no, not Indian brown. I can't remember what the hell it was. But anyways, um, same dark brown as that K20 next to this truck. Same, same thing. So, I was staring at Dairy Cree and Kittery Main, getting ready to order my food. And I kept seeing this truck on Marketplace. Got, talked to the guy. This is an 87 V30, 454, dual tank, custom deluxe, big block truck. Kind of an uncommon truck. You don't see many of these. Well, I wanted it. In the worst friggin' way. So, I'm in the middle of ordering my food, and I get a phone call. The guy goes, hey, the guy blew me off. Let's go look at it. 
he goes, hey, you can come get it. I drove up there. The guy was asking, he was asking four grand for this truck. Well, it needs a little bit of framework and a little bit of cab work, but really, really not in bad shape for a New England square body. It's got some problems, but it's decent. So, without further ado, I was like, but I can't give you anywhere near that. So we pondered back and forth. I ended up getting the truck for short money. The guy was so happy that he found a good home for his truck. So I bought it. It was originally a Martinos Towings plow truck down in Massachusetts. It's a towing outfit in Methuen, I think it is. I bought it. The original 8-foot Fisher is actually behind the 85K30 right there. I put this one together with plow shoes on it because when I plow my field to come out to these guys, that blade has a new cutting edge on it and it friggin' destroys the field and you'll be plowing the friggin' trip edge just smacking off a of shit. It's just a big shit show, so I threw that blade together. So, yeah, I bought that truck. It's apple red and black. That's just the way that the company colors were. I have a really, really nice dual tank bed for it. The bed on it's not bad, but the dual tank's still working it. I'm going to put the original correct bed back on it. So, anyways, it runs really good. 454. Um, I'm gonna, my plan is, is to have a bed painted red for it and paint the grill uh, gray again because the red just looks horrible with diamond plate. Get rid of that. Um, put it together, run it, drive it, just like how I do with my black truck. But I want to put a plow frame back on my black truck. All right, next. All these trucks have a story. When you're collecting square bodies, doesn't matter if you collect square bodies, Volkswagens, you meet a lot of people. And I have quite a few, as you guys can see. It's not all of them. There's about six or seven missing. I listed in the video. All right. Well, the sun's... This truck looks like a huge piece of shit. But this is actually really not a bad truck. It's just missing, you know, a grill the other fender, but I have the fenders in the back of that truck for this truck. This passenger side fender's not, it's just sitting on there. This is an 86 Custom Deluxe K20. I bought this truck for $200, short money. As you see, minus the utility body and minus the fender. I put a hood and a couple other things on it. I can't even get a good shot in the video of the damn sun. Let's see on this side. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. I bought this truck with the intentions of making a service truck out of it. Well, I'm taking that service body off and I'm putting it on the K30, the white one, soon to be black again. And then I'm going to put a standard pickup bed on it. And I bought it for plowing. This is a C6P truck. Now, for square body people, you guys know what that is. A C6P truck is a heavy spec three quarter ton. It has 56 inch rear leaf springs and the frame's just a little bit thicker. You really can't tell. But whatever. 410 gear, turbo 400, 350 transmission. I mean, 350 motor. Um, it's painted that. I, You know, that's going to bother me. This thing still has the build sheet in it. And I'm sitting here looking like an idiot trying to remember the paint code. It's full of shit right now. Let's see. It is the paint of this truck is... Let's see. What the hell is it? Oh, that's cool. This thing has a lock and rear differential on in it. Indian bronze, metallic, code 66. That's the color of this truck and my first K30 truck that I had. 3500 that I had. Anyways, back to these. I bought this truck for $200. I have literally no money into it. Just putting together with spare parts to make a good enough plow truck. The frame in it is mint. Minus one small speck of rust. It's right in the back. Pretty easy to fix. So my goal is to have a plow on that, 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 and then my black one ton, and then a handful of others. Someday I'd like to use these truck plow trucks and make some money with them. That's why I have so many. All right. This friggin' yeah, we're still rolling on the on the camera. All right, 86. Silverado, C10, Silverado, bleh, said that twice. Blue and silver, um, I put a hood, it came with black doors, those were on it when I got it. 
I stuck a visor on it. It's got craggers. It had a shit 305 in it when I got it. Um, I put that in. You know, I've roached the transmission out of it. Put another 700 RF on it. It's good to go. It's got a Holley 650 carb on it. The thing goes like you wouldn't believe. My goal this summer is put a new radiator support in it because this one's junk. That's why the radiator support's sagging. Put a bumper on it and clean up the interior and put a sound system in it. Other than that, it's in decent shape. Goes good. Um, it's got a G80 locker in it, which is, eh, she's, she makes some noises, but she'll still, she still locks positive and you're not going to do a burnout or a donut in it. I made a very good friend on that truck. One of my best friends now on that. He owned that truck, and then he owned that truck. We'll get into that in a minute. All right, this one. This is one of my favorites. I bought this truck in 2017. Yeah, it was six, uh, 17. I was on my way to Home Depot for my boss. I used to work at a rental place in Kittery, Maine. And I saw this truck sitting behind a building. And uh, needless to say, I uh, stopped in. The guy told me a price. And then he turns around and gets from like here to the front of that truck. You know, 10, 15 feet, 20 feet. He goes, you know what, I'll sell it to you for 500 bucks. You seem like a good guy, and you seem like you're going through a lot. Well, I was. My girlfriend just broke up with me. He was cheating on me, so. Without further ado, I got a truck out of the deal for short money. All right. There's another one. This is one of my favorites, too. 85 C10. Uh, short wheelbase. I put a visor, a grill, back window, seat in it. This thing runs and drives. I have a spool in the rear end. This thing goes like you wouldn't believe. It has a 350 in it, turbo 350 transmission. Uh, it is rough, it banged up. The entire, well, most of the floor pan's made out of license plates, I did that. It's kind of my rat rod C10. It's got mismatching wheels on it. I wanna put the stock white wheels back on it just to make it look, you know, I don't know, more, uh, I don't know, more, more stock, I guess. This thing used to be a city of Dover, New Hampshire uh, park enforcement truck for the city. I guess they used to put bikes and stuff in the back and use it at their horse barn because they have horses and stuff. It has a big, it used to have the cop light on it right here. I was driving this truck all summer and it has the big, has a big, you know, police dome light thing in it. There's the fenders for the service truck and there's some other parts and pieces for other square bodies. Alright, Harlequin truck again. Alright, this truck is a funny story. I bought this truck, this truck, that truck, and that red one. All through the same guy. Not at the same time, but through the same guy. Very good friend of mine. This truck was sitting in a junkyard in Rollinsford, New Hampshire. I remember seeing this truck when I was in high school, when I used to daily drive my K5 Blazer that's down on the end. We'll get to that in a minute. This truck was a plow truck for the, um, oh, what the hell is it called? Sam Falls Campground in Lebanon. It was bought brand new at Burn Chevrolet, where my copper colored truck came from, over there. Um, I sold it to a kid. Obviously, he put a lift kit in it, he put a bed on it. I put a visor on it. I didn't sell it with him with the visor. Um, and that's that. I put a grill on it. My plan is to make it just the way that I had it in high school. Take the lift out, big tires, put 31105s back on it, or 33s. Put uh, lease, uh, stock leaf springs back in the front and put a plow back on it. This thing plowed snow, awesome. It still runs and drives, but it has a blown head gasket. Only a 305, 700 4 truck. Now, let me just pipe in for a minute. When you collect square bodies, especially the 80s ones, a lot of them came with 305s back in the day, and they were all the 700 r 4 3 gear trucks. I don't know why GM did that. That seems to be the, the magic number. All right, next. This is a black... Code 19, midnight black truck with a maroon interior in it. All right, this truck, this belongs to one of my best friends. He sold it, I tracked it down and bought it. 
This is an 87 Silverado. This thing's fully loaded, just like my Sport. The one right there. Power in the power lock, cruise 350, okay? 350. 308 gear, 700 out of four. Not a 305. Um, currently has a Dana 44 and a 12 bolt in it. Bolt in it. I have a um, set of 10 bolts for it. Blue, it was really... It was originally light blue, like that fender, the, the dark, the lighter color. Um, has a uh, six inch ranch arrow left in it. Um, my goal is just to make it a street pavement pounder with a stock color blue. All right, next 83 uh, 62 diesel civilian diesel blazer. Everybody asks me, oh, the camo paint, the spray paint. It's got to be a cock truck. No, it's not. Light blue with a blue interior. Nice diesel truck. 88 V30. I have two of these. One of them sitting over next door on the other property. 350 SM465. Four speed. Used to be a Seaward construction truck. It's rough, but it's savable. Long wheelbase, just like my Rucker. 139 inch wheelbase. 84 K30. Her name's Heather. She used to be a plow truck, old farm truck up in Wells. Nice truck. Um, met the man that bought it brand new. He, uh, the frame's actually halfway decent. I'm gonna try to save it. It's my first Mason dump truck that I ever bought. Actually second, that wasn't a piece of shit. The other one had a 6.2 in it, it was all hacked up. That actually still runs and drives. 82 Silverado K10, um, 305, turbo 350. Um, kind of uncommon. You don't see many early 80 trucks anymore. It was originally this canary red with a red interior. Power window, power lock, truck, cruise, tilt. Uh, no air. Kind of unique. 73 K10. Uh, originally it was Hawaiian blue um, with a blue interior. Um, it's just a custom, not a custom deluxe. It's got some god-awful plow frame thing welded on it. I actually have all the parts to put this thing finally together. I have a mint front bumper, mint transmission. Uh, it's actually in the cab. So 73, you don't see many early 70s trucks. Short wheelbase. And uh, yeah, it used to be some guy's trail truck. He beat the friggin' shit out of it, but I still see something in it. All right, this is my high school graduation present. This is the truck that I drove out of high school with. The Blazer, actually, it's a Blazer on a truck, but so be it. I put a nose back on it. When I got it back, it was destroyed. My mother bought this, well, I traded a truck, plus she bought it for me my senior year in high school. This is where I drove out of high school in. 1990 K5, uh, I put a hood, fenders, radio support in it. When I got it back, all I need is a motor and axles for it, which I think I have a set coming for it. Last but not least, 86 Chevy Custom Deluxe K10. It's white, originally, still is, cab, with a blue interior, 700 out of 4, 305, 308 gear. Uh, this this belonged to the, uh, the um, how do I put it? A skydiving place over in Lebanon, New Hampshire. Yeah, I can't even get into that. But anyways, um, this truck was heading to the scrapyard. My buddy, one of my closest friends, Nick, bought it. And he sold it to my buddy. Then my other buddy ended up with it. And then I ended up with it. Runs, drives. It's got all brand new brake lines on it. I just got to find the time to do the cab. Maybe this coming winter I'll finally freaking get around to doing it. But there it is, folks. Believe it or not, over half of these trucks runs and run and drive. Um, I have the parts, majority minus sheet metal to fix the cabs to fix them all. But runs and drives, runs and drives, runs and drives, runs and drives, runs and drives. You know, everything pretty much up there minus the military truck runs and drives, and the red one. So. All right, take her easy. We're at 29 minutes, and one of these days I'll make a video of the other half a dozen that you guys missed or so.